This is a video about ultrasound in the diagnosis of endometriosis, ABCDE. My name is Suzanne Johnson and I'm a gynaecologist from Southampton. So having gone through all the different stages, um, this is a live scan where we're going again, breaking it up piecemeal and showing you what it shows uh, for the report at the end. So here you can see a longitudinal view of a uterus with islands of endometrium in the myometrium um, and that's adenomyosis. You can already also see adherent ovaries with endometrium uh, at the back. So this is at the very start. Here you can see these islands of um, endometrium in the myometrium um, and you can see an adherent ovarian endometrioma uh, at the back of the uterine fundus. In the longitudinal view, this is the right ovary and it's an endometrioma, a unilocular cyst with no solid component and some ground glass echogenicity adhering to the back of the uterus. And this is the same seen transversely now. This is the, the transverse measurement of the right ovary, a beautiful view of the islands of endometrium in the myometrium. This is very bad uh, adenomyosis. So right ovarian endometrioma and you can already see a left ovarian endometrioma and both the ovaries they're kissing and they're attached to the back of the uterus. There's the left one and you can see these ovaries are called kissing ovaries, they're adherent to each other, they're adherent to the back of the uterus and there's normally bowel adherent to this area as well. Looking at the sliding sign we're in the longitudinal plane again, this is where bladder attaches to the uterus, it's that white line there, there's the internal os, there's the torus, you can see white fibrosis here and you can see bowel glued to the back of the cervix and you can see it's glued to the back of that endometrium as well. So this is a frozen pelvis. In the transverse plane, looking at the area um, nearer the torus, I've got two nodules there of deep infiltrating endometriosis surrounded by white fibrosis. This was an atypical endometrioma. And here, again, I can see a bowel nodule. Now there's the bladder, internal os torus. So it's above this line. So this nodule is in the upper rectum. You can see some normal muscularis here, some normal above, and this is a bowel nodule with the overlying um, submucosa. It looks intact in that view. So it's upper rectum. And this nodule, if you keep looking up, is attached to the underside of this ovarian endometrioma. And you can see all that here. You can see normal muscularis there. This is the anterior wall of the lower rectum here. And then in the upper rectum, you can see this bowel nodule in the anterior wall. Looking at the submucosa. Now I'm looking at the bladder. You can see that the bladder is freely mobile on the front of the uterus. If there's a caesarean scar here, then the bladder might be a bit adherent. But I'm also looking for nodules of DIE in the muscularis layer there of the bladder and in the space between the bladder and the uh, top of the vagina or the front of the uterus. This is all areas where you might see endometriosis, but not here. And I looked at her kidneys and they were normal too. So looking at the whole pelvis now from left to right in the longitudinal plane, we've seen them all piecemeal. We can say that she's got a normal anterior compartment, including kidneys, adenomyosis, bilateral ovarian endometriomas, kissing ovaries, retrocervical nodules in the torus or uterosacral ligaments, an upper rectal bowel nodule of DIE and a frozen pelvis. And that's it. Thank you very much.